So this question says the kinetic energy in joules of an object with mass 9 kilograms. I'll just write down M equals 9 kg. Traveling at a speed of V meters per second. Okay. Um, is given by the function K. So again, this is what K is, the kinetic energy, where K of V equals 9 halves V squared. Right, so this is obviously going to be important. Which of the following is the best interpretation of K of 34 equaling 5,202? So again, K represents kinetic energy. This 34 here is replacing this V here. V represents the speed, right? Speed of V at meters per second. So in essence, what this K of 34 represents is the kinetic energy of an object, or of object with mass equals nine kilograms traveling, kg, traveling at 34 meters per second, okay? And that kinetic energy is equal to 5,202, right? 5,202 joules would be the unit because that's what we're told here. So let's see what matches that understanding, right? So all I've done here is translate exactly what I read. I know K is kinetic energy in joules. I know V is speed in meters per second. I know that that K of 34 equals this value, right? So I'm just putting all of that together. So choice A says the object traveling at 34 meters per second has a kinetic energy of 5,202 joules. I love that answer. It's very straightforward. Yep, it is traveling at 34 meters per second. And yes, it does have kinetic energy of 5,202 joules being the unit. I'm going to look at the other ones, but I think A is the best answer. Choice B, the object traveling at 340 meters. No, nope. Nope, that's, that's already not true, so I cross it out. Choice C, the object traveling at 5,202 meters per second. That's not true. Um, and choice D, the object traveling at 23,409. Not sure where that name, number came from. That's also not true. So I've confirmed that A is the best answer here.